um, we basically want to get the hammer out so that we can replace the hammer spring. Um, so there's a few steps to this. You need a three millimeter Allen key um, to remove this little cocking bolt. Um, it's the one that gets pushed when you um, move the stock. Um, basically pop your three millimeter Allen key in and then loosen it off. Um, this will normally be quite tight because um, they put uh, Loctite on the threads to stop it working loose while you're using it. So that's the little cocking pin out the way. You'll now notice that if you move this it's not actually doing anything because there's nothing for it to cock. Um, then we um, need to get the pistol grip and trigger sear out the way. Uh, not trigger sear, the uh, trigger guard. Um, this is a 4mm Allen key. So we need to remove this bolt which will then get us to the um, little plastic cover which um, you can pry out. There we go. And then we need our um, 4mm Allen key again to get to the um, bolt which is at the bottom of the um, grip. I'll uh, shine a light on that to see if you can see that. There you go, it's at the bottom of the hole. 4mm Allen key again. In there, loosen that off. And then you can get the screw out the way, or the bolt. And then give us a bit of a wiggle and a shake and it pulls off. Um, that's your uh, action. Um, now you're going to need your uh, 4mm Allen key again at the front of the trigger guard. There. Um, loosen that off. There we go. And your trigger guard lifts off. There's a pin in there and, a, and your trigger obviously. So get that out the way. Right, we um, removed the um, cocking pin and now we need to remove the hammer and hammer spring so that we can fit the new hammer spring. Um, the I've had to make this up, it's just a piece of wire that I've bent on the end. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's basically I've just bent a little hook on the end just to make it easier to pull the spring out when we get to that step. Um, you could use a metal coat hanger or cut a bit of your old a bit out of your fence. Um, so the hammer is this bit here um, between this catch and the um, barrel. Um, you may be able to uh, shake it out but chances are you won't. Um, what you can try and do is use a pokey device and um, where you see the hammer where you remove the cocking screw just push that out and you'll see the hammer coming out the back and that's the hammer. We've got the hammer out the way. Um, we need to get the hammer spring out. Now um, this is kind of a three-handed job um, because the sears kind of hold the um, hammer spring in and this is where this little tool comes in handy. Um, you slide that down the hole that the hammer came out of and into the spring and then hook it into the spring but you'll probably notice that the spring won't come out um, and that's because it's caught on the um, on the trigger sear. So what you want to do is um, get a uh, something to push with um, and you want to pull the trigger. Obviously if the safety is on this step won't work because the sear won't be able to move. Um, so make sure it's in the fire position, pull the trigger back and then um, push the push the sear up. You can probably hear that clicking. So pull the trigger back, hold the sear in position, then pull the um, hammer spring out if it'll come out. There we go. There's the hammer spring. Um, now, obviously, we're not going to use this one. This one's for um, the high-powered rifles. We're going to fit the one that came in the um, Huma kit. 
Um, so basically slide the new spring in, then slide your hammer in, make sure it's all clean and no damage anywhere. Slide that in. There. And again, we're going to get to the point where things just won't won't go back in. Um, so we want to do the old trigger again. So pull the trigger, pull the sear up, and then push these in. Um, you'll get so far with this hammer, and you'll have to twist it until you find a bit where it actually carries on going. Um, once you've done that, your spring and your hammer are in place. Um, and we can now move on to the next step. All right, we've got the um, the hammer back in, um, and basically I've just put the and the stock down, which is um, lined up the hole, um, and I've put a little drop of um, Loctite. It's just medium strength Loctite onto this, and I'm going to put that back in where we removed it from. And your three millimeter Allen key. Tighten that back up. It needs to be reasonably tight so that it doesn't loosen while you're using it. Um, and basically, you can check the function now. Um, there we go, that's cocked. So to decock it, um, you can turn the um, safety off. Pull the trigger and then pull that back and it's decocked. There we go. Um, and now that we've done that, we can um, go back to assembling this. Um, so we want to put the trigger guard back on. Um, by the way, there are modifications you can do to um, to these um, to to uh, make the trigger nicer on these because the the trigger is a bit well, it's a single stage and it's a bit well it's a bit like a single stage trigger um, it's not brilliant um, there are modifications you can do where you replace this little um, uh, grub screw with a uh, spring loaded uh, screw that has a little ball in it. Um, and then there's other modifications that involve actually modifying the um, trigger or the sears. Um, but obviously those are a bit more advanced and I wouldn't recommend doing them unless you really know what you're doing. So anyway, carry on with this. Um, and we need our four millimeter Allen key again. Bolt back in. Then we want our pistol grip. This needs to slide on. It's a bit tight. There we go. Then your long bolt again, four millimeter four millimeter Allen key. Drop that in. Flip that up. Drop your cover back in. Bolt back in. You can also get aftermarket grips for these, uh, which are um, nicer than the plastic ones. Um, I find that the plastic ones are a bit small. Um, I haven't got massive hands, but it just feels cramped, whereas um, you can get a, a, a nicer wooden grip that's got a bit more length to it. Um, right, so that's that. It's pretty much all assembled. Um, we will now um, go to the um, chrono and to check the power and adjust the power as needed. Um, to adjust the power, you need a six millimeter um, Allen key and you fit it in the front there and it's got a you can hear it clicking um, and you adjust it you adjust the power up or down via that um, 
I've been told that some models have a, an anti-tamper. Um, I've not seen that, so I don't know what it looks like. Um, and if I happen to come across one, I will update my um, guides. So thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.